Electric potential energy. So how can electric force act at a distance? Well, remember when we studied gravity? If I hold a pencil off the ground, it has potential energy. And if I let go, it falls. Even though until it actually hits the ground, if I'm outside, then it never even touches the Earth. So the Earth's gravitational force is affecting the pencil from a distance. That's because the Earth has a gravitational field that extends around it as a property of its mass. Similarly, an electric charge will generate an electric field around it. An electric field is strongest closest to the charge, and a charged particle in the field will experience a force. We can also create electric fields without a single point charge, and sometimes we'll deal with that. Just know that if a charged particle is in an electric field, it'll experience an electric force. A positive charge is just like when we had masses, right? Everything was positive. So a positive charge wants to go to low electric potential energy, okay? So which in the case of electric force is close to a negative charge. A negative charge, on the other hand, is the opposite. It wants to go to a higher potential energy, all right? So that's near a positive charge. I know this seems a little backwards, but here, instead of having potential energies from and infinite to zero, you can actually go all the way to negative values here too. Okay, just like when we studied gravity, okay, charge has some similarities with places that are equipotential. Hopefully you remember that word, okay? But gravity creates a field, so does charge, okay? With gravitational force, objects with mass interact, and for electric force, objects with charge interact. Okay. Remember, force times vertical distance, so change in height, gives you your potential energy. Here, force times distance parallel to the field is going to give you your change in potential energy. We're not really going to do any calculations with electric potential energy in this class. We save that for physics, too. But I want you to kind of understand where this is coming from when we talk about the next topic. Remember, we talked about a topographical map where a contour line has the same elevation the whole way. And so if you walked along a contoured line, you would never change your gravitational potential energy. Similar things created around a point charge, but even if you had a funky shaped field, if you had several point charges interacting, you could still draw equipotential lines, where if you stay on an equipotential line, then your electric potential energy stays the same.